would you care to make a video submission to advise the New Zealand government on how they should intelligently move forward on their campaign promise to legalize medical cannabis? Cannabis should be a legal medicine. I think it personally should be a legal recreational drug. But just to focus on medicine. If you're dying and then you're suddenly being dragged through court to defend your use of cannabis, that seems extremely inhumane. I can, of course, if the police don't ever prosecute, it wouldn't be such an issue. But it is certainly not very satisfactory. And I cannot see that there's any overwhelming merit in limiting the availability of medical marijuana to people who are dying. I mean, clearly they should have access to it, but I think other people should have access to it. The world has not ended in countries where they have medical marijuana. The Netherlands have had it there for 20 years. Perfectly rational. I mean, let's remember, cannabis was a medicine until 1960. It was a medicine for 4,000 years. Why should it not be a medicine today? Trust the doctors to be sensible about prescribing. Cannabis is the world's oldest medicine. Cannabis seeds have been found in the tombs of mummies and pharaohs in Egypt, possibly 6,000 years ago. We've got evidence of it being used in written pharmacopoeias in India and China 2,000 years BC, so that's 4,000 years ago. So I have personal experience of trying to research these substances. And because they are treated as more dangerous than plutonium, I am treated as a criminal or a potential criminal when I work with them. So the, there are enormous extra burdens in terms of regulations, in terms of supervision, to the point where it's almost impossible to work with these compounds. The opportunities lost in terms of medical research in the last 50 years of the war on drugs is the largest loss of research possibilities Ever. I want a goddamn strong statement on marijuana from this son of a bitch in council. I mean one that tears the ass off. I want to hit the marijuana thing and by God I want to hit it right square in the puss. I want to find a way of putting more on that. Simply a matter of politics. The United States thought it could get rid of cannabis use by stopping it being a medicine. A completely ridiculous decision, a, con a bizarre concept because in fact Having got rid of it as a medicine, we've just seen recreational use increase enormously. So banning the drug hasn't stopped recreational use, it's just stopped medical use, which is outrageous because patients are the people who need it most. We've seen this war on drugs spread around the world. We've all been caught up in it. It's done a lot of damage in many countries, a lot more damage in most countries than it's done in the USA. We should not be pursuing a war that is largely driven for the American internal political benefit. And now just turning to CBD oil, which is non-psychoactive, yes. non-addictive, non-toxic, mm. and is still scheduled as a Schedule I controlled substance in the US, meaning it's as addictive and as dangerous as heroin. Yeah. How would you respond to that classification? Well, the science of drugs is some of the worst science ever, and CBD is a a classic example. This drug is not psychoactive. Interestingly, in the UK, we took it out of the schedules. It's a perfectly available substance in the UK because we knew it wasn't psychoactive. I think in America, they think if anything starts with can, two ends, then it must be cannabis and therefore it must be like THC. I think it's just a failure of, it's, the, it's an ignorance, but it's an ignorance which is perpetuated in the face of knowledge. The decision, cannabidiol in Schedule 1 in America is flies in the face of all science. And it's a lie. It's a perpetuated lie. They don't want to believe they were wrong. They've been waging a war on drugs, mostly on cannabis users, for 50 years. They don't want to admit they were wrong, even though the evidence is overwhelmingly the case that they were wrong. Because to admit they were wrong on that would mean that people would question them on everything else. <laughs>